One of Betsy Kling's favorite places in Cleveland, NASA Glenn Research Center. As you might know, that first A in NASA stands for aeronautics. Glenn has a deep history in jet propulsion, and they're about to change flight once again at supersonic speed. Betsy takes us inside the wind tunnel for more on that story. I didn't expect to like pop into a wind tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. The... <laughs> when walking around NASA Glenn Research Center with director James Kenyon, popping into a wind tunnel just happens. There we go. This is where researchers explore high speed flight. And this is a wind tunnel that is supersonic capable. Uh, it's our eight foot by six foot test section, uh, supersonic wind tunnel capable of going up to two times the speed of sound. A couple of things happen. One of the items tested a small scale model of the new X-59 plane, the future of supersonic flight. Designed to fly at more than 900 miles per hour without generating loud sonic booms. Instead, it'll make quieter sonic thumps. So yeah. you make little baby sonic booms in here. That's right. <laughs> That's baby. exactly right. Pops. That's exactly right. <laughs> Currently, commercial supersonic flight is banned because of the boom. If NASA can make supersonic speeds quieter, it would dramatically cut flight times in the future. NASA and Lockheed Martin will officially unveil the X-59 this Friday. But planes aren't the only thing being tested in the tunnel. And a lot of our wind tunnels at NASA that support aeronautics research also support space research. And so uh, testing different parts of the flight regime, we've had some, some space test hardware from some of our commercial partners in here recently testing to see how it was going to work out. And opening the back of the tunnel lets researchers do propulsion testing. Uh, we can burn gas and shoot fire out the back. And, uh, and we can do it at very high speeds. And so that's a, that's a cool capability we have. Testing the future of aviation in a facility more than 65 years old and right in our backyard. Walking through wind tunnels is one of the coolest things you can ever do. I, I've never experienced it, and I can tell you it is really darn cool. <laughs> <laughs> With growing STEM, I'm Betsy Kling, 3 News. Well, Dr. Kenyon will be there for Friday's unveiling of the X-59 plane. And if you want to take a closer look at the wind tunnel, we have a link to NASA's virtual tour on our website, WKYC.com.